The following report contains some disturbing images. Some survivors of the attack that killed 46 students. The suicide bomber clearly intended to cause as many deaths as possible. He wore a school uniform to blend in during the packed morning assembly and then blew himself up. One relative spoke of his personal loss. My brother, a student in the school, died in the blast. He was about 16 years old. His left leg has separated from the rest of the body. We buried him at about 11 a.m. today. No group has claimed the bombing in Potuscombe, but Boko Haram has often targeted schools, making northeast Nigeria one of the most dangerous places in the world to get an education. Despite the news of yet another bombing, Nigeria's police force says it's doing well. Our mandate is to ensure safety and security of all Nigerians and residents alike.